Welcome back to the show. We're always looking for fun experiences to tell you about, and we found one wine tasting. Oh, yeah. So, right? Wahoo's only winery, didn't even know they had this, takes grapes from vineyards from around the world for you to sip and bottle. Ooh. Well, when we found out that Oahu had a winery, we had to check it out for everyone at Living 808. So we're here in Kailua at Eno Winemaking with Marshall Ziegler. Thank you for having us out today. Thanks for coming. Well, cheers, too. Cheers. Tell me about the name and how you got started. So Eno was the Greek goddess of wine. Everything she touched turned to wine. So that's where our name comes from. Now, down here in Hawaii, the local pronunciation would be Oweno or Oweno, which we hear a lot. I call it Ono, like delicious. But we don't care what you call it. Just come and drink some wine with us. Tell me about the wines and the type of experiences that you offer guests. Right. So we are a boutique winery. We don't grow anything locally, as a lot of people realize, because it's a little bit too warm to grow grapes here. So we import grape juice, grape skins, and oak from all the major growing regions around the world into Hawaii in the raw state. And then we use a process that is very natural, very little preservatives, because our wines are meant to be drank young. So not aged like what you see in American grocery stores. Uh, therefore, there's very little preservatives, too, so a very little headache, hangover, no chemical aftertaste, just real easy drinking and smooth wines of red, white, uh, fruit wines, and dessert wines. A lot of different varieties. You said some of the populars have ingredients like coconut and pineapple? Mm. Yeah, our two newest wines, which have become incredibly popular with not only tourists and visitors, but locals as well, are coconut-infused Sauvignon Blanc and pineapple Chardonnay. Amazing. Walk me through the experience. What does it take to make the wine and what people can come here and do? Right, so the main things that we do, we are a custom winery, so we offer a product called uh, the Winemaker's Experience, which is customers come in, they taste some wines, they choose what they like, we get the ingredients in, and then they can learn from A to Z how basically grape juice goes uh, to fully drinkable wine. That product, also called our Winemaker's Experience, um, allows the customer to create their own vintage and their own label. And then when the wine is ready, they come back, have a bottling party, and they get to bottle up, label, cork, and seal their own wine. Well, it sounds great, but talk is cheap. I think it's time to do the experience, and I brought some girlfriends along, if that's okay. Great, let's do it. All right, let's go. Cheers. All right, ladies, let's get you started. This is our California Riesling. Now, a lot of people know Riesling as either very sweet or, these days, very dry. The way I make it is kind of somewhere in between, so semi-sweet or half-sweet. Uh, the classic nose or aromas on Riesling is honeysuckle and lychee, but rather than all those flavors going through very sweet, we go more kind of like kiwi melon uh, flavors. Okay, next up, ladies, I'd like to uh, pull something directly from the barrel, which is a kind of a neat treat. Uh, this is our Sonoma Dry Creek Chardonnay. And as I said, we get raw grape juice, grape skins, and oak from all the major growing regions, including the Sonoma Valley in California. And Chardonnay is one of the most manipulated grapes, the most kind of messed around with by winemakers. You know, each winemaker out there is trying to come up with the newest, betterest, brightest thing. In my opinion, I'm a traditionalist. I like to go back to the way Chardonnays were actually really good, and that was in the 90s. A nice balance of the vanilla and caramel from our dark toasted oak. So it's a buttery Chardonnay, but it also has uh, some fruit, Gra Granny Smith apple and Bartlett pear. I hope you like it. This is one of my favorite white wines that we do. And ladies, let's change to some red wine, one of our most popular styles. And our reds are just so much less, uh, they don't bite back at you. They're very, very soft and smooth. This is a unique one called Cabernet Franc. Very rarely seen as a single varietal, usually blending grape. But you have a little bit of acid, and then your red currants, red berries, and then a little bit of boysenberry as well. Medium body, and it's got a nice kind of smoke to it. Also, to munch, so you uh, don't drink too much, um, we have our homemade rosemary parmesan bread glazed with our garlic butter, and then tomato basil sauce with herb goat cheese. You can find all the recipes on manofthehousehusband.com, plus a whole lot more. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies. Thank you for joining me for this experience at Eno. Check it out, KHON2.com. You could have this experience too. Yes. Oh, your friends are so lucky. <laughs> uh, that was good. We uh, got to go out there after May Day and do that. I had no idea. All of us live Kailua, Windward, Oahu, and none of us knew about it. So it was a fun thing to do. But you could do it for celebrations. You can create your own label, mm -hmm. bottle it, and it, it comes out to be affordable. When, when you do a whole barrel like that, you pick exactly what you like. It comes out to maybe about 
thirteen dollars a bottle. Wow! Yeah, with your own custom was it label mama? on it. It was good, huh? It was good. So it was a bread too. There you go. Uh, you're welcome, everyone, <laughs> because we're always looking for something that's uh, that's trending, that's new, that's mm -hmm. maybe been around that you haven't heard of. Tanya found a winery. I know. Awesome. We're working for Hawaii. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> All right.